All right, distance learners, this one's for you. Usually, when you register for classes with us online, let's say you live in Wyoming. Given that you're so far away, you're probably not going to come to campus like ever. So knowing that, we're going to send you your institution ID number, your 000 number, but we're probably not going to send you an ID because, let's face it, you're never going to be here. That would just be silly. So you're not going to have a barcode number, which is frequently what we ask our students here on campus to use to get some of the online capabilities that you should have being a distance learner. So knowing that and knowing that you need that access, here is what you can do. The very first thing that you need to do is you need to come to the library homepage. And if you watch the first video, you should know what I'm talking about, how to get here. Go to the library homepage. And there are two links I want you to look at. The first one is right there. It says passwords. If you click that, it'll take you to our patron login. Now, you need to get your PIN number. That's the whole point. To get your PIN number, since you're a distance student, you don't have a barcode. If you click where it says barcode, it says institution ID. Just click on that. Enter that, and then your last name, being whatever your last name is, and if you don't know that, you automatically fail. Enter in your institution ID number, enter in your last name, and click where it says get my PIN. If you have an active student email account, the information, the PIN number that you're looking for, will get sent to that active student email account. Once you've done this, you'll get your five digit PIN number, you can enter all the information in, and that will get you access to your student library account. Now, what it also does is gets you access to the Galileo password. Okay, to get to the Galileo password, remember you click on passwords. That'll bring you to this screen. Enter in all the information, click on log on to my account. It will take you to another page, if it's successful, that says, please choose the type of request. You'll only have one option. It'll say Galileo password. You click that, it will give you the Galileo password in red text. The Galileo password is great and all. That'll get you into Galileo, but it won't exactly give you access to everything. It'll get close. If that's just not good enough for you, and, and that's fine if it's not, it's not good enough for me either. You have another option. If you go to where it says remote logon, right there, that will take you to this. This is Hornet Connect. To log into this, you simply enter in your active email account name, just the name, you don't need the at spsu.edu, and that password. Okay, and you click sign in. It's going to ask you if it can upload all kinds of stuff. Just allow everything, don't deny any of this stuff. And then eventually, it'll actually log you into the Hornet Connect server. <music> Right. now that we're finally in here, you'll see top left, library resources. Click on that, takes you to our Hornet Connect page. You have all kinds of stuff at your fingertips. All you need to do is click on something and practice using it. I will point out to you that you only have a four hour session on here. In four hours, this will try to close on you. You may have to re-log in. I'm sure it will be fine. Anyway, I have more videos coming and as I go through them. I'll give tips on how to perform searches and stuff, but I wanted to make this one specifically for the distance learners or for people who live off campus so that you would have access points to get to the resources that you need. Thanks.